Today we're gonna to make a triple pork sandwich. I'm calling it the three little pigs. We're gonna start with smoking some pork belly, smoking a pork shoulder to pull, some homemade smoked bacon, coleslaw, candied jalapeno barbecue sauce, melted cheese, and some real thick sliced bread. It's gonna be awesome, man. Stick around, I'll show you how to do it. My name is Rich, this is Rack's Barbecue and Grill. Let's get cooking. Okay, to start this awesome sandwich, we're going to season up some pork belly that I have left over from some pork belly burnt ends that I made a couple months ago. I'll leave a link up here. Got a small pork shoulder. We'll also season up, pull and pile into the sandwich as well. So, real simple. We're using my barbecue rub for pork. It contains no salt. So, we're going to salt everything first. About half teaspoon per pound. I mean, I'm just eyeballing it. These are pretty thick cuts of meat all the way around. There's our pork shoulder, the back side of the pork belly as well. Then the rub, coated pretty good all the way around, all the sides. Pat it down so it sticks. Same thing for the pork shoulder. Get the back sides. Now there is a small bone in this roast over on this side here. We're using the Bluetooth meter probes today, so we'll just get one in the pork shoulder and then one right in the thickest part of the pork belly. Okay, smoker's been preheating at 250 degrees. We're just gonna throw these on here, give them a few hours, and uh, check on them once we get the bark developed. Okay, so while the pork belly and the pork shoulder are in the smoker, we're gonna start on making our homemade coleslaw. Uh, white cabbage, half a head of it. Right down the middle. Cut this root out of here. Get the, the limp leaves off the outside. We don't need those. And you wanna slice it really thin. As thin as you can. The texture is a lot better when it's thinner. If it's too thick, it just doesn't feel right. Okay, so into the bowl, break them up as you get them in there. So you get the slices all mixed around. Any large pieces like this that were around the root, we don't want those in there. And this is just a basic recipe. You can use some red cabbage in here as well. Some people like to put honey in them. It's up to you. This is just a simple, quick recipe. There's our cabbage. Now we're gonna take a half of an onion. Dice that up. That goes into the bowl with the cabbage. Now we're gonna dice up some carrots. The ends off. Okay, carrots into the bowl. Next up, one cup of mayonnaise. I like to use Duke's. Use whichever brand you like. Three tablespoons of sour cream. Just gonna kind of eyeball this. One tablespoon of red wine vinegar. You can use white wine if that's all you have, that's fine. It's a little bit of acidity. About a half a teaspoon of salt. And then here I have two teaspoons of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of mustard powder. And last ingredient, eh, just about a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. The wind doesn't blow it away. And just mix this all up. You know what? Sometimes the hands are the best tool. Throw on some gloves here and get this done in short order. Just give everything a good tossing around, get everything nice and mixed. And this is just gonna add some acidity to the sandwich once we build it. All right, so the slaw's done. I'm gonna wrap this up with some plastic wrap and get it into the fridge. All right, so we'll start on the garlic butter next, which we'll be using for our thick sliced brioche bread. Uh, so again, get this wrapped up in the fridge and we'll get started on that. Okay, garlic butter, real simple. For medium heat, we're gonna do a stick of unsalted butter. And I have 10 cloves of peeled garlic. Just gonna throw that in there with the butter. Let the butter melt down. Let it run for about 15 minutes so the garlic will get softened. We'll check on it when it's pork tender. It starts getting soft. We'll scoop them out, smash them up, get them back in the butter mixture. Okay, the garlic butter has been simmering for 15 minutes now. Now what we wanna do is get the cloves out of the butter. We're gonna pour the butter 
into the bowl the garlic. Just mix it up just a little bit. Push it down with the spoon or fork, whatever you're stirring with. Break the garlic up. We're gonna let this cool in the house. By the time the belly and the pork shoulder is done, this will solidify into a nice butter for us again, nice softened butter for our brioche bread. And one last step for the garlic butter, we're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half of uh, parsley. Give that a good mix. And then once the belly and the pork shoulder is done, we'll let those rest for a little bit and we'll fire up the flat top, get some grilled onions and bacon going for the sandwiches. Okay, pork belly and the pork shoulder are just about at the stall now, about 160 degrees. So we're gonna give them a spritz, check the bark, make sure it's developing nicely for us. Oh yeah, it's looking nice. Got a nice bark going to it. Okay, we'll get these up to about 195, 200, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, it's been about four and a half hours. The pork belly just hit about 200 degrees, so we're gonna pull that off. The pork shoulder still has a little while to go, so we're gonna let that run up a little bit more, but we're gonna pull the pork belly out now. And this thing looks gorgeous, man. Nice mahogany color. Got a good crust going on it. Thermometer out. And we're just gonna wrap this up in some foil. That's it, we're gonna let it rest. Once the pork shoulder is done, we'll pull that out, let it rust, and start with our onions and our bacon. Okay, we are six hours in on the pork shoulder. It just hit 200 degrees. We're probe tender. And that thing is gorgeous. That's just as pretty as the pork belly, man. Get this thermometer pulled out of here. Cover it with some foil, let it rust while we're cooking the bacon and the onions. Here, we're gonna start with the onions. And we're grilling these, so make them as thin or as thick as you like. Break them up into rings or slice them in half. Doesn't matter. Once they cook down, they're all gonna be the same way anyways. So I'm using two onions today. You really only need one if you're just doing a couple sandwiches. I'm doing, gonna end up doing probably four. So just making sure I have enough to cover everything. All right, get a little bit of oil down on the flat top. And we're gonna start with homemade bacon. I'm gonna have to do a video on this one of these days for you guys. This stuff is phenomenal. This is actually a maple garlic bacon that I made and it's my last pack, so I need to go grab another 10 pound slab of pork belly from Costco and make some more. Bacon's down, I'll tuck the onions over here. That way the bacon grease will run down into the onions and add a little extra flavor to that. We will hit these with a little bit of salt. A little bit of garlic powder that's probably gonna blow in the wind. And some fresh ground pepper. Some oil to get things going. Get things tossed around. Give our bacon a flip. Okay, bacon's done, so we're gonna get that pulled off and just let them drain on a paper towel. All right, we're getting close. Just gonna push the onions around in the bacon grease. Everything is better with bacon fat, right? Okay, onions are complete. Okay, we're getting close to starting to build these things. First, we're gonna slice up the pork belly. And I'm gonna slice it this way. Probably about half inch slices is what we're gonna go for here. And there we go. I mean, let's look at how juicy this thing is. Just pouring out of there. Smoke ring. So we're gonna set the pork belly off to the side here. We gotta get the shoulder pulled. Get out this little piece of bone. That appears to have been the only one that was in there. And with my Wolverine claws, we're just 
gonna get this bad boy shredded up. Okay, pork is pulled. And one more thing with the pulled pork, candied jalapeno barbecue sauce. The link is here for the video on how to make it. This stuff is awesome. So it's got a little bit in the pork and just get that tossed around. Let's get to building the sandwich. Okay, next step, garlic butter that we made earlier. We're just gonna butter the bread, both sides. Be liberal, you want, you want to taste that garlic. And while that side is toasting, we'll add some butter to the top side. Give them each a flip. Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. We've got our toasted garlic bread. We're gonna add some of the coleslaw first for that acidity. And then we're gonna take some of our pork belly. Two slices each sandwich. Now some of the pulled pork. Next up, grilled onions. I hope everybody has a cardiologist on speed dial. Because <laughs> this is far from being healthy, but man is it delicious. Now our third little pig. Be the bacon. Snap a piece in half. Crisscross them never have too much bacon and finally we're gonna top it with some melted cheese yes cheese whiz I love cheese whiz I didn't make my own cheese sauce this time I got lazy use whatever you like but this stuff is awesome right Ch cheese makes everything better top them off are you kidding me Look at these things. To help keep this together when I cut it, I'm gonna try and put a couple toothpicks on either side because these are gonna get messy. All right. I mean, look at that. <laughs> All right, only one thing left to do. Gotta try them out. Guys, holy hell, this thing is delicious, man. Three little pigs, bacon, pulled pork, pork belly, coleslaw, candied jalapeno barbecue sauce, grilled onions, slammed in between two pieces of garlic bread. Doesn't get any better than this, man. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the three little pigs. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. Give the video a like, share with your friends. Until next time. 